Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet and today I present a real rare bottle the Artbeck Auribertus. This is the yearly specialty bottle of Artbeck. There had been several before like the Galileo or yeah, whatever they were called. There were so many uh, in the pipeline that I forgot most of the names, the alligator. Uh, there is a video about Dr. Bill, Dr. Bill's grill, where the alligator, where he presented the alligator. And all these bottles are <coughs> limited releases. Uh, in the beginning, there were tens of thousands of bottles available worldwide and the last bottles were quite rare. The Galileo, only very few thousand. So they became collector's items very fast. And uh, last week I received a parcel from the proprietors of Artbeck Distillery, the Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy uh, Corporation from Paris. And they sent me uh, a package, this package, with a new bottle of Auri Verdes. Auri Verdes. Um, and when I opened the bottle, the first thing I found was a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars in it. Very interesting. A thousand dollars. No, not these uh, hundred dollar bills. Uh, this is just a joke. Uh, there's more in this than a thousand dollars. Whiskey is the real thing. When I took it out, it was an envelope with my name on it and the Auri Verdet bottle, but this is a very special bottle, only for me. Horse learning from Artbeck. And there was a press release uh, in here. And uh, they said, this is a bottle. We wish you a pleasant day with this new bottling. Uh, please keep in mind, this golden bottle is a tasting bottle. It is only intended for personal use and may not be sold to a third party. So, the typical bottle is green and the name Auri Verdes, Auri, is a derivative from the Latin word Aurum, which means gold, and the chemical abbreviation of gold is AU, Aurum, and Verde means green, Typically, the Artbeck bottles are green, and uh, this bottle was artificially uh, put gold color on, and uh, it was there for showing me this is a personal gift for you and only for you, and you're not allowed to sell it. And if I sell it, I would receive at least those thousand dollars lying down there. Uh, so, this was, uh, was to show you that this bottle is quite expensive or would have been expensive if I would have sold it, but we'll taste it here. Um, there have been uh, very small miniatures of the Galileo whiskey from Artbeck, which was a collector's bottle several years before. Uh, and those small tasting bottles were sold for more than $400 or 500, 470 euros, I think, was sold for more than $500 for these small bottles as a collector's item. So, but if I would have sold this bottle, then I would have never got a bottle ahead of time from Artbeck. So I had to decide $1,000 for this bottle are kept 
delivered uh, by free bottles from Artback. So I decided there's more than a thousand dollars having those bottles delivered by Artback ahead of time. It's much more worse than those thousand dollars. That's it. Um, there's this uh, World Soccer Championship in Brazil in 2014 and uh, the, mm, the team of the, the Brazil, Brazilian team uh, has the name uh, Auriverdes because uh, the colors are yellow and green. If you look at the Brazilian flag, it's a green flag with this uh, yellow uh, carol in it with the, uh, I think the globe in blue, something like this. So gold and green are the colors of Brazil. And this bottle, Auriverdes, uh, will be delivered yeah, close to the date of the World Championship. I don't know, I'm not interested in soccer, so I'm very untypically. Um, have a look at the bottle. Uh, sample, not for resale. And here is a, a text mark from the UK. Uh, Artback, a proud tradition of collecting silverware. Huh? <laughs> the team at Artback have triumphed again. Technical skill, balance and perfectly timed maturation make this a winning dram. A unique toasting process has created casks that have imparted a formation of flavors to the spirit over many seasons. Tarry and herbal notes open up uh, with the addition of mocha. Now coffee grounds. Here come smoked root vegetable, light touches of maple cured bacon. Maple cured bacon, never heard that. Hot smoked salmon passes to a smoky vanilla note that lingers before driving the flavor home. No, don't, don't drink and drive. <laughs> what a kick. It's been end to end all the way. Uh, the specialty of this art bag in here is that it was matured in casks where the lids, the ends, have changed. Was, were changed to new ones which were freshly charred uh, and toasted before uh, so that the fresh aromas of a new make uh, are absorbed by the charcoal on the inside of the lids and after that time of uh, subtraction maturation uh, additional flavors from the new ends uh, are given into the maturing spirit. Um, here they say uh, several seasons, many seasons. Uh, if you look carefully at the label, there's no age statement on it. Yeah, I, I think that uh, this uh, Auriverdes was matured in reused, reused ex bourbon casks, which were uh, replaced with new ends, lids, uh, which give additional flavor in the maturing spirit. There's a hope in this process because the former uh, collecting bottles, collector's items, were sold out very, very fast. And here they can use, they may have used reused casks, uh, which they have reunited for a certain amount with new ends so that the amount of bottles of Auriverdes for the yeah, World Championship of Soccer uh, may be increased to uh, five-digit figures again, which weren't so, pop, uh, so typically for the last uh, uh, collector's bottles 
format back. So this is my hope uh, that we will see many of these bottles, not in golden color, but in green, uh, in verdes, uh, in the next uh, month to come. The uh, publishing date for this bottle is May 31st, 2014. Um, which is this year's Artback Day. I don't know if the Artback Day is always the same, 31st of May. I don't know. Um, and uh, here we have the chance, or I have the chance, uh, to taste this Auriverdes uh, ahead of time. <sighs> Very smoky. This peat smoke is intense, but not too phenolic. It's a very pleasant smoke, and there's no fresh and young alcohol in the back. So these fresh ends uh, really filter out the uh, fresh and uh, not so well tasting aromas from the new make. And after this subsection period where the bad tastes are torn out of the whiskey, uh, the ends and the uh, caramelized wood sugars uh, kick in and bring uh, vanilla also into the whiskey. Has a, a light vanilla note in the back. And there are herbs. Ah, a kick over to licorice. And this licorice is typical for typically for uh, for fresh oak casks. The alcohol is not too strong, 49.9 ABV. It's unchill filtered, uncolored, of course. So for 10 years, it's quite dark. So the ends delivered a lot of color from the caramelized wood sugars. I missed the sea, this salmon, this smoked salmon they told about, and this ahorn syrup. It's a strong but pleasant smoke on top of the whiskey, and I miss also the the sweetness of hardback. Have a sip. Full impact, 50%, and sweet, mouth-watering sweet. Licorice is becoming stronger. I think I feel this licorice and not mocha, as was told on the label. Perhaps someone could find out that this is mocha. My mocha is more bitter. This is licorice for me. And the sweetness, yes, but it's it's maple syrup. I don't know how it's said. Maple cured bacon. Mm -hmm. Perhaps a little smoked bacon, yes. It's not this phenolic smoke, but more, uh, yeah, from from a dry fire. A very pleasant, a sweet art bag, very close to the ten-year-old. I still have to taste here in front of the camera. We'll take a month or two until I reach the Artback 10. So it's worth a buy. Uh, suggested retail price is around $80. Um, depends <laughs> on, uh, 
on how many bottles there will be released. If the amount is low, prices will rise extremely fast to limits over $100 or $150. If the amount is bigger, what I think of, uh, then the price will stay below $100. So be careful. 31st of May, look at your Artback dealer. They're called Artback Embassies. Perhaps there's one in your uh, vicinity and uh, have a bottle. Not a golden one, it's just for me. I'm privileged. Thank you for that, Louis Vuitton Moenesi. Thank you for watching whiskey.com and stay tuned.